This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another toy review and today something special. G1 Skullgren. Pretender, like an actual pretender shell. And if you can hear it, there's a robot inside. It's actually complete. So I found this at TFCon uh, Toronto 2023. And I really wanted to have this guy because I was super disappointed with the Legacy Skull Skullgren. Like, very disappointed. And this one was a gift from my grandmother when I was a kid, when she passed away uh, not too long ago. And also she got for my cousin, uh, Patrick, she got him bombers and he also passed away many years ago in a car accident uh, and uh, quite tragic. And I miss him dearly, but having this, maybe next year I'll get bombers uh, at TFCon, I don't know. But I really like having uh, this guy in my collection because it's full of memories. And he's so metal. Like the, the look of it looks great. You know, complete block, unarticulated, you know, except the arms. Uh, but... It's a fantastic toy and I'm super happy. I don't collect G1 really. I prefer cartoon accuracy stuff, uh, but this one, I, I couldn't pass it. So there you go, We're, you're, you guys are stuck watching me being super nostalgic about this figure. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the review. But before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. <laughs> okay, looking at Skullgrin, who's almost 40, really, um, he looks fairly clean. I mean, there's a bit of a little black dot here that I'm gonna have to scrub off, but everything else is, you know, I was expecting all those little crevices in the head to be full of dust and black, but no, the, the seller really, it was a big store, like all their store was G1 and G1 parts. Um, incomplete figures, complete figures, and uh, I should have grabbed their name, but uh, it uh, escaped my mind. But yeah, fairly complete. Like he's complete and he's clean uh, for DH, so that's pretty cool. The sword looks absolutely badass. I love the design of this sword, and he's a well. Let's say if I compare it to um, the sword from the Legacy line, this one is very flexible. You know and then this one here it's it's a soft plastic but it's not as flexible so that's I think bonus I like harder plastic and this is completely hard plastic uh, the belt looks amazing uh, it's really really good I'm I've I, I've been trying to make him wear it uh, higher but it uh, doesn't seem to want to do that so he's gonna have a you know low-cut pants for a while uh, but if you look at this figure, uh, the details on the horns here looks really good. Uh, all those little white spot, white holes on the skull, the big goat horn or demon horn looks really good. Purple eye looks good. Uh, you have, you know, the when you see on skull, there's always that cavity here for the uh, where the nose goes. That's pretty good. And you have it looks like the detail here for the uh, lower jaw. Um, so that's cool, and then you have the teeth and the big uh, big fang here. It's really good uh, The spike on the shoulder, you know, that's uh, Really like he's so metal. I can I wish With the spike knuckle. I wish like there was a guitar that came with him You know something really maybe I'll check with fire talks if he's able to 3d print a guitar to go well along with that I doubt it, but it, it'd be pretty cool uh, the gun is really nice, and it's two guns. You know, most people, this isn't a new figure, so this is no news flash, but it's two guns, and they're a lot less waffly. 
but they're a bit dirtier. I might have to wash that off a little bit. Uh, this one's cleaner, definitely. And then you can uh, pick it uh, like this, and there you go. Uh, belt is awesome, the big uh, skeleton, or the big skull, nice details, the pauldron. All right, for the legs, a tassel, tass, tass it? I don't remember, it's been a while. And then all the skull details on the belt. Uh, one thing with the belt is I've never been able to, you know, when it's like this here, it, it blocks, you can't peg it properly. So I always go under and then I peg it. So I guess that's the way to go because it's, I'm too afraid that if I try to squeeze it like that, it's gonna break the, uh, the peg, so. And there's even, you know, details on the inside. It's really good, love that. And of course, You have the whole gimmicky thing. Ah, oh, man. See, even after all these years, very tight fit. I'm gonna close that back. And then you have the robot of Skullgrin. And, you know, the new legacy version, they said that they were keeping the. Uh, more robotic look of this with the new figure but if you really compare it it doesn't it really doesn't um if you take a look like okay from let's say we compare these two you see the head sculpt is inspired um even uh, you know a little more refined i would say here with uh the, the horns and everything like this is really you know it's detailed, but it's it's big and it, it's not uh, uh, like a fine tip. But this one is, you know, fine tip, fine tip here, uh, fine tip at the uh, the tusk, uh, and then you have all the teeth. I mean, at this this is supposed to be this part here, so it's not that bad. And then the belt, they kind of got it okay. It's not the greatest, and he's missing the uh, you know eye protection so then they said that the other part was to have the robot mode kind of the same but it really isn't I mean if you look at the chest there's no common ground completely different the arms don't have the same detail or anything that could hint like you know there's this thing here and there's an arrow here you don't have any of that on the new arm and then for the leg, um, you have two things here, a little detail at the hip, you don't have that here, and you don't have the legs, don't even look the same. So this ro though these robot parts have nothing to do with this guy. So I think they missed out. I mean, they tried to do something and it failed. And this is a very simple robot, but it, it really works. You have the uh, gray on purple, uh, for the face sculpt and it looks really good I mean it doesn't look menacing but you can tell it's a transformer uh, you have the purple chest the gray the Decepticon logo the arms the arm rotates you know for the cannon um, so that's cool it's supposed I guess to be this is more detailed but this doesn't plug in the hand at all like like this it, it's just a gun that he's holding so that doesn't work and then you have, you know, you have your Ferris wheel. You don't have a rotation. You have a kick back and kick up because of transformation. You don't have a race rotation. You have a toe, um, well, toe tilt because of transformation. That's about it. So that's a very simple robot, but it looks cool. When I was a kid, me and my cousin, we didn't know what pretenders were, and we thought this was hidden inside this because this was so powerful. So yeah, so now something I don't usually do on camera, I'm going to do a transformation for this guy.
So basically what you want to do is first fold uh, no, the legs a little forward and put the toes down. Then you want to, uh, you might want to you know, pull the cannons first. These are loose, I have to say. And the decals are peeling off, so I might have to get the uh, toy hacks, see if they did anything for the pretenders. I don't, I don't know if they did. You put this down like this, and then you take this gun like this, and you put it on each side. And this looks good. That's a cool tank. Like it's not, you know, it's completely Cybertronian. You don't have, it's a little loose now, but it's completely Cybertronian. You don't have anything like that uh, on Earth, but it looks really good. Uh, or maybe it's just my nostalgic self just talking to itself because I really do like this, uh, this design. Compared to, I'm not even gonna transform this guy because this is a turd. It's completely useless. And but this is cool. You know, big screws sticking out. Uh, but there's a lot of firepower here. And there's wheels here and here. And he, well, rolls kind of fine. But this is a soft surface, so it's kind of hard to get it uh, to roll properly. But no, I absolutely love this tank mode. So now I'm gonna put him back in robot mode. This is just gonna be a, this quick video here because this is an age-old figure that's been probably reviewed a million times. And even then in robot mode he's able to hold the big the, the big guns with three millimeter ports. And he stands. Like, how cool is that? The playability of this figure is unmatched. At least with this one. It's... I'm absolutely impressed. And it's cool, because you can display both if you really want to. So, that's probably what I'll do. You give a total magic! So there you go guys, that's my review of uh, Skullgrin from G1 Pretenders, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell, also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!